Welcome to the Empire's Brand Panel. Welcome back to my Epidemius campaign for Warhammer 3. Where we're going to continue left off from the last time in the Molten Empires. Where today should be the final video of this episode, I'm believing. As we do not need much left. This battle we have to fight because I trust the odd resolve. And then it left in a, in a situation where technically it thinks I'm going to lose units. I, I know the state of my army, yes, but it, I no. Uh... Ooh, there's no trees. Actually, that's kind of a problem. Uh, but basically, what we're going to do is I need to have it so uh, I need to get a heal off immediately on all my big guys. And then, for the most part, Epidemia should be able to destroy this army. It's They're undead. They're a bunch of undead. Because today, all we got to do is we got to get a couple more areas burned. We need to take Talbheim, and that's it. This campaign will then be finished up. And then I have to immediately figure out how the hell I'm going to go about the idea that like, in, until we get information about the next DLC, I'm doing a This is Total War campaign in Scarbrand. With some mods, SFO, that's the main thing, is like figuring out like when SFO, like with stuff with SFO, because I need to make sure I pick the right version of it so that I can always go back to a, uh, a backup patch uh, to make sure I don't break that campaign. Because that one I think is going to be fun. I think that's going to be a really high octane campaign because I fucking love Scarbrand. Again, I have been banned from playing it in multiplayer campaigns. <laughs> oh, I wonder if I'm going to be able to complete the same kind of bullshit that I've done in the past because of that, because. Scarbrand, yeah, my, my, I, one time I was playing Scarbrand with my friend, and he was playing as, um, fuck, he's one of the ogres. He's the ogre that starts just north of, uh, Scra Scrag, yeah, Scrag. Um, he was, like, level 12. I was level, like, 46 by level, tw by, like, turn 12. <laughs> because I was fighting so much shit. Because I was actively playing like I was doing a This Is Total War campaign. Because that's like the only way I have a challenge on Scarbrand. So I'm excited to see how it is with SFO. Uh, because we were playing with SFO in that in that campaign. So doing an SFO campaign with Scarbrand. I'm going to probably have some like, that's going to be a really high octane like, burst campaign. That I should think is going to be really fun. But yeah. These guys, I don't want you to fight really. I, I just want you guys to... Oh, there's a little bit of a tree. Oh, well, you can kind of hide back here, I guess. Hide back there. Get these guys up here. Great and clean ones. And we just gotta have you guys get get some healing off initially. And we'll be fine. It's just the fact that you're a little beat up here, so that's the biggest concern. And at least uh, you, well, I know you can't re uh, heal models uh, when you're already beat up. So we'll start the battle. Have it so you immediately put this on top of all of us. That way, these guys are going to get a good chunk of healing on all the big guys. And that is going to be a huge bonus for us. Because I think we just need to do that. They're going to wait for the reinforcements. I kind of want to have it so that... I should probably try and get like one more good heal. Because that was a good chunk of healing, but I should wait a little bit longer. I really hate that there's like no trees I can hide my infantry in. Because I, I don't need these guys for this fight. They're unnecessary for this fight. We can win this without them. If they're gonna fight, that's fine. And I can always get more uh, Plague Bearers if I need to. But I'm gonna hope that this is gonna be enough with all of my Grid and Clean ones. And then Epidemius and everybody. Yeah, we can get one more heal off now. That way, we are way more topped up on my single entities and my heroes. Heroes are now uh, back up to full. Are you not gonna advance on us? Uh, no, you are. Yeah, you, you are slowly advancing on us. Soul Grinders, you'll be able to unload into the enemy army uh, soon here. Basically, I'll have to have you specifically uh, try and focus on the, like, the Hex Wraiths. Infantry, we're not really too worried about. Like, mainly Cav units are the ones that we actually kind of have to care about. They do have all their big beasties up there. That could be a bit of a problem. Alrighty, here they come. I'm actually demolishing some of these units. Like, one good hit actually destroys these guys pretty easily. Uh, I am going to have my heroes, though. I'll start beelining forward with you. Specifically going for the lords. You guys are focused on the lords. All the grid and clean ones kind of stay back around here. I'll get you guys to kind of group up to kind of defend the flanks, essentially. And we'll just wait for them to come to us. Besides the fact that, like, an epidemia is my heroes. Because I want them to blob up on top of us and do a lot of damage with the AoE that we can do. Also, I'll have Epidemia summon more guys as, as we see fit to distract them from fighting my other units. Okay, you guys can you can summon some guys here, because these ones don't deteriorate. So, you can get on in there, start just 
be uh, beelining for the Lord and bullying him. Hey, here they come. Soul Grinders. Stop that shit. Stop fighting in melee. I just want to have it so the uh, great and clean ones get on in there. Start fighting. I just want to debuff people here. Yeah, like if you guys want to fight us, that's fine. I just prefer not. Like, if you guys are going to fight like one thing at a time, that's okay. Yeah, Epidemius. There you go, my guy. Yeah, try and just have it so that essentially you're trying to just yeah, focus on the guys around here. Let's see. Some, some stuff over there. You guys are taking some damage. Let's see. Uh, Great and Clean ones are taking a little bit. I'll get you guys some heals up here. I'm going to be putting pretty much all this healing into you guys. I want to make sure you guys survive. I don't want you dying. That cab's fucking bodied. Beautiful. Let's go for the Black Knights. We don't care about basic zombies. Any basic zombie unit we don't care about. They're not going to be able to really fend us off. Yeah, it's like you guys are doing well here. Even some of their bigger guys can't compete with my demons. Yeah, some of you guys are already uh, crumbling. Oh good, and I summoned a great unclean one. Hell yeah. I just have you do your stream ability. Yeah, you can help out against the corpse cart. Are they already deteriorating? Some of them are. Not all of them, but yeah, some of them already are. I keep debuffing guys around here. Yeah, I would rather have the Soul Grand just not be in melee. Yeah, focus all of you guys into the uh, the blue Blood Knights. Let's see. Actually, you don't need to... Let's see. You can go over here, help out that. Epidemius, help take out those zombies quickly. Although I think you guys should be able to do that on your own. They're already kind of crumbling. So I'd like to get Epidemius back over here, actually. And you're so slow that, like... Yeah, let's 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 turn you around, Epidemius. Oh, you are actually fighting uh, the Terror guy. Holy shit. You actually winning that? He is actually winning this fight against the Terror guys. Go, my little rat... Uh, my, uh... Bug boy. There you go. Keep fighting that. Keep debuffing him. Good damage there. Yeah, Epidemius is slowing his way over. Yeah, you guys are easily dealing with some zombies here. That's not an issue. Almost over here. I should actually remember to use some of your guys' abilities. Because you guys have them, and that'll be really good damage against some of these guys. Uh, you guys are actually good. I'm going to put this onto you, actually. You. Stream ability. Stream ability. Just all on top of the things that are fighting you guys. There you go. There. And now Epidemius is in melee around here, so you guys will start taking more AoE damage. You are... Ooh. Ooh, ooh, ooh. You are struggling. Yeah, get out of there, guys. I, I don't want the Soul Grinders fighting. Pull back. Yeah. Okay, that was close. Almost lost one of my Soul Grinders there. But that, that's okay. Good amount of damage there. Those forces will be destroyed. Now... We'll get some recovery. Got a good amount of healing onto my uh, grid and clean ones and everything. Because now we just need to keep trying to go for specific cities. That's what we need to try and do. And so hopefully we can try and have it so that we just need to get a couple more cities. I'm debating if I'm going to have to have Epidemius be the one go to go to Talbheim. If it has too many guys, I might. Because right now I know we're pushing into the dwarves a little bit with uh, Karl Marx and the bitchless one. Uh, sorry, no, the bitchless one and um, Discount Santa. Or, uh, so those two are going to the dwarves. The Karl Marx is around the area to the north of us right now. All right, I see so Prague, receives Plague. Choose to call in the moot. Okay, so I'm going to get rid of that. Get rid of that. And then, let's see. So, we did a good amount of damage around here. And I got, yeah, a little bit of recovery. Um, I don't have Plague on myself right now, actually. Oh, and we do now have the Wound Recovery Time thing, too. I love it. Okay, so, yeah, we need to get, um, which one gives me the Replenishment? Yeah, Casualty Replenishment, Magic Cost Reduction, and Melee Defense. So, we'll do that. Put this on to Epidemius. In fact, you with that. So you get some more recovery for your army. And then... Let's see, army's been infected. Okay, because at the moment right now... Oh, good, no, you guys are actually going to push them back down a little bit. Uh, Karl Marx... 
despair. I could see you doing that. Now you guys are now pushing on and over around this way. You need to get some more recovery. Let's see. Go to the stance. Keep pushing forward. Same thing with the bitchless one. Because you guys are trying to push on in, harass these areas. I feel like... Let's see. He doesn't have a lot of slayers. I could see us winning that fight. Let's see. Uh, try and, you know, can you get rid of a hero? Yes, you can. Okay, so you can get rid of a hero. You... Let's see. That just gives miscast chance for enemy spellcasters, but they don't have any spellcasters. Um, I should upgrade this ability a little bit. You've already been able to upgrade this stuff a little. Okay. Let's see. Okay, you're still trying to get to the decay stuff. You should get more melee attack. These guys are acting as agents. So that's what you guys are doing. Oh, I don't want you to hit this guy. He's got a lot of infantry that I will body with soul grinders. So I kind of feel like I want to actually try and go after this guy. Because let's go after Ungrim, I think. Is this close to me? Um, most of these units I can just body with my soul grinders. These have extremely short range. So I think we actually have a decent chance here. I, th I think we actually do. So we can get on in here, try and take these guys out. Karl Mark should then be good. I'm a little worried about uh, Ungrim himself, though. I'm glad we took out that hero. With, with with one less hero, this is a lot better for us. But like, no, those hammerers, a lot of their infantry, I should be able to easily take out. I'm gonna probably try and focus down a little bit the uh, slayers. Because if we can get rid of the Slayers, then they don't have as many infantry units that can actually do a lot of damage to my big entities. Oh yeah, and we do have the Vanguard deployment right now. I don't think we're actually going to want it, though. Because um, Soul Grinders, I'm going to get you guys set up over here. Kind of behind this little ledge. And then we can have it so... You grouped up. These guys are kind of more like acting like melee kiff action, melee dudes. You guys in a group. You guys in a group. 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 So basically, you guys will have to take out the flying units. And I've got this kind of group set up. So start the battle, start the deployment. And then essentially, focus on slayers. Especially for sure slayers. Don't focus on... Don't. Ah, okay, you did some decent damage. I was about to say, usually you guys won't do a lot of damage to the flying units. I'd rather you hit the slayers because they don't have a lot of missile resistance. They're not as blobbed up, but yeah, that's like the main goal is like trying to hit all these guys. We definitely want to have it so that the Slayers... So many of my things are large, which is the issue. That's why we want to try and focus Slayers down. Like, if we have to fight the Hammers in melee, that's better. But yeah, we want to try and really single out the Slayers. So let's focus those down first. Slayers there. You two should come over here and hit the Gyrocopters. There are some Doom Doomseekers have bonus versus infantry, though, so I don't care about them, actually. So that's fine. But yeah, just keep getting the Slayers, keep damaging them so that they will t uh, start actually losing entities. Because that's the thing, they don't lose entities for a while. But you guys... Taking a little bit more damage I'd like. The Goblin Hewer is probably actually going to try and hit you guys. Let's pull away from them for a second. Pull away from the Goblin Hewer. You can try and... Oh, can you not do it yet? They do have that flame cannon. I'm going to want to try and get rid of the flame cannon if I possibly can. These players are taking a little bit of damage. We've gotten them down at least. I think we can now start trying to have it so that you guys try and charge forward here. I need to get rid of that flame cannon if possible. Okay, you guys get on in here. I have to start pushing forward there. You need to start getting some casts in to start healing us. So go like there. You guys, let's go try and get rid of... Uh, let's actually go for this Goblin here first. The Flame Cannon's not doing a lot of damage. That's not too big of an issue. I said they can't summon anything right now. Let's make sure we debuff uh, Ungrim. I don't want him to have high melee attack. 
Wait, let's get you guys. Yeah, you guys get rid of the goblin hewer. I'm not worried about how much damage they're doing. I may have to run from this. They're, they're kicking my ass. I was hoping we'd do better here. Oh, yeah, you're taking some damage from Ungrim. Oh, that's a fucking bad idea. Yeah, pull back. Yeah, they're currently whooping my guys' asses there. You guys are doing okay there. I just need to make sure that we keep, uh, yeah, keep debuffing Ungrim. Let's get some healing on this side specifically over here. Try and pull back if you can. Let's see. You guys are almost done over there. Try and go back here and get rid of that flame cannon. You need to keep getting some debuffs over here, some damage over on this side to keep healing people up. I'm gonna keep you out for a second to let you heal up. Soul grinders to have taken a lot of damage, specifically actually from being shot at, which is kind of annoying. Let's play you guys a bit a little bit. Play back a little bit. Actually, try and hit the gyro bombers. You guys, yeah, keep fighting around here. You're doing well there. Keep debuffing on Grim. Because the more we can get some healing up, the better around here. Do that. Yeah, Soul Grinders specifically try and take out the gyro bombers for right now. Try and take them out. I need to keep hitting this spot with magic damage. Because the more I can whittle you guys down slowly, at least the Goblin Hewers are in melee. So that's good for us. Let's see, I'm going to get you guys to try and help out over here a little bit. Ungrim, we kind of just don't want to fight. We we don't want to fight him if we possibly can. He's just too much of a bad uh, monster in melee. You guys are losing over there. Keep debuffing him. Casting into this blob. These guys are almost all dead. And Ungrim's unbreakable right now, isn't he? Yeah, he is. <laughs> God damn it. That's like the one thing that I'm really fucking concerned about is Ungrim can just probably solo some of my forces. Okay, so these guys all broke. So it's just Ungrim now. That's not the worst. What's he doing? How is he doing? He's taking damage. Yeah, because, like, these guys are all breaking, except for, like, some of the Slayers that are over there. I did lose my Flyers, that's fine. We can get them back, but basically, I need to just get some time to try and heal up. Let's see where you, yeah, you're fighting over there. Because if we give you guys help get rid of all these guys, then we have to have everybody focus on Ungrim, and then we can probably take him out. I just need to be careful about that. So, like, I'll have it so... Yeah, he's about to take out one of my guys. Try and get out of there. I don't now we need to have everybody beeline and focus to him. I can keep healing the army. I'm gonna have you stay back. You stay back. Now basically I'll have it so yeah, just kinda stay back, guys, until you can get some healing up. But everybody else needs to be focusing on him. So everybody beeline for him. I'm gonna make sure we keep buffing ourselves up. And I'll keep debuffing him. Oh, who just took that big ass hit? Oh, that's, that's, my, that's my guy there. And keep debuffing him. Because if we can get rid of. Uh, it, it's just Ungrim. We should be able to beat him here. As long as I keep just slowly healing my guys up and he just doesn't one shot my dudes. It's taking for fucking ever, but he is slowly dying. Because at the point in time right now, all I'm doing is I'm just continuously debuffing him. So his uh, melee attack is lower. Anytime anybody gets too low, I just pull them out, and then I just uh, then actually he's dying faster whenever we do that because there's just too many people trying to hit him right now. Because now slowly but surely I'm healing up my army, and he's slowly dying. How much health does he have left? He has at the moment 2,700. I know you're keep sitting around here getting buffs around up here for us. You keep getting some more healing for us. There we go. He's so close. He just needs a thousand health left. For him to die. And then he'll finally be out of the picture here. It's just the fact that he's fucking unbreakable is the worst part about this. Come on, just die for me, please. Oh, that took forever, but there we go. He's now dead. And I think the only thing I lost was my flying units. Oh, no, my one hero was uh, killed. 
Damn it. I didn't even notice that guy got wounded. And no, I think he's straight up dead because I don't think he's level 20 yet. So I'll have to get him back. Which is sad. That's okay. But against uh, Ungrim, honestly, that's that's kind of reasonable. <laughs> Especially since so many of my entities in this army are large entities. So I'm not surprised that they did a decent amount of damage there. If I had better healing, I think it would have gone a little bit better. Because I had uh, just the passive healing from casting. I didn't have the big AoE heal yet. But no, Ungrim is now going to be defeated here. He'll be able to be pushed back. I have like nothing left. Uh, I have to get some more troops in this army. And I can't remember if... Did you have a name? I could have sworn I gave you a name. Didn't I give... I gave you... Uh, no, you were... Yeah, you were Joseph Stalin. You were you were Joseph Stalin. That's what you were. Get that punishment if you can. Right, let me see. Yep, Joseph Stalin. Joseph Stalin was killed in battle while being in the army with uh, Karl Marx. It's kind of hilarious. But uh, let's have it so, uh... Let's see. I am in my own territory, so I can actually get you some stuff. Uh, I'm just gonna put some grid and clean ones in your army. Let's do that. So we'll do that. We'll have to get Joseph Stalin back on in here again. Um, I can't recruit that. Let's see. I can get one no, because it's it's the other one. I have to recruit them all the way from way the fuck back. Because uh, it's the Chaos Sorcerer. Which I could have sworn is like over here. No, not that one. Glaze Cliffs. There it is. So let's go with uh, you, and hopefully you don't die. So I'll just make this uh, Joseph uh, Stalin. No. Now we'll have him. He's going to have to try and regroup with us. It's going to take him a bit to get over there for sure, though, is the thing. Um, just because he's so far away. But, you know, you'll start trying to make your way over. And then uh, going back down here. So for right now, at least... I Probably should have you. F I should finish those guys off, but also, yeah, no, okay, we can keep pushing. Cause I can have you got that stuff upgraded. Let's upgrade your stream ability. Corrupted mage, I want to upgrade. More movement range. You can get more defenses and more health. And then let's see if I'm going to have to actually fight this, or am I going to be able to get away with I will lose units if I don't fight it, so I will fight it myself. Because I don't want to lose these guys. I just want to get closer to that one city we have to the south. Have it so that we can try and go down there to try and recover. But now this army here, not that bad. Soul Grinders might do most of the damage. Otherwise, I'll try and get some healing up on my big guys. And then um, I need to get the heal. I need to get the heal for Karl Marx. As I know a lot of... I'll have my, uh... My spawns and my trolls stay back. This should primarily just be my heroes and my soul grinders. Ideally. Let me do a big diploma if we really wanted to. Okay, these guys I don't want to use. I want you guys to stay back. Soul grinders, yeah, you do your thing. I do have the thing from entities dying, but I want to try and avoid having to take advantage of that. But hopefully you'll just do a lot of damage just with the range damage. That's my hope. Yeah, because a good chunk of them are already dying. And then as soon as they get close enough, you know, start debuffing so we can actually start healing the army. Oh, those, those flame cannons actually do way more fucking damage than I thought they did against my uh, soul grinders. Okay, so let's have uh, you two right now. You're the fastest units I've got. You guys can kind of run around back here and deal with the soul gr uh, with the uh, flame cannons. That's gonna be your job. You guys have done enough damage. Now start trying to open fire into these guys. You guys get on in here. 
I'll keep debuffing with my hero to keep healing us. We just need to get rid of the Iron Drakes. Yeah, because you guys can easily body these units. Don't worry about those flyers. Yeah, you want to hit them? So I can have you two go after this guy once the Flame Cannon is destroyed. And I just need you to keep spamming into anybody, really. Just so we keep getting healing. Oh, Jesus. Stop shooting him! Stop shooting him! I don't want Chernobyl man to die! Careful, careful, careful. Just spam anything. Just keep hitting him, getting him heals. He's running. Just, just spam it anywhere. I don't care where. Just so he gets a heal off. Oh, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. There we go. He's alive. He's just barely fucking alive. God damn. Okay. Uh, I'd like to get some more healing on for him. I'm going to try that at least a little bit. Okay, he ran off the map. Not going to be able to get any more healing on him. That's fine. He did survive, though. Barely, but he did survive. But there we go. Now we just need to have it so... Karl Marx, you're just, again, focusing more on defense, essentially. Trying to continue focusing on building up the lands that we have and defending them. That's your job. So you're going to be doing that. While I have it so every other army is focused on offense. I, I probably will have it so I make my way back over to Talbheim with Epidemius. Just because so many... Like, I think we're going to go through Sylvania a little bit. And kind of loop back up. If not, I will have it so my other two armies... So Discount Santa and everybody... Um, they can go that way. It, it depends on like how quickly it takes me to, to get to the Unique Cities sacked and everything. If we hit that pretty early... I can just have it so that Epidemius will go there himself. Yeah, no replenishment. Just grab the money. There we go. Because now we'll just have it so you'll be trying to go down here. Trying to help defend this area a little bit. Maybe kind of push back up a little. And then you guys will be able to start pushing on into this stuff next turn. Epidemius actually hasn't still hasn't moved yet. I haven't actually done anything with him. Which I probably should have it so... Let's see. You guys can't run! Yeah, bull. Oh, actually, doesn't give take make me take any casualties. Yeah, let's just take the other side. If they don't actually kill any of the units, it's fine, because I can heal most of these guys back up pretty easily. Next battle, I'm going to want to probably do to uh, myself, just so we can get some healing on my big guys. So, like, let's hit the uh, city. This I'm going to fight myself just so we can heal up these single entities a bit more. Because I don't need to fight this. It's just going to be Epidemius and Heroes, rush forward, slaughter everybody. And then I'm just going to heal up my Soul Grinders and my Grid and Clean ones. And that should be good. A reinforcement, so that's a tiny little army. We don't have to worry too much about them. Actually, I can have it so that my Soul Grinders and everybody can deal with them, basically. Because at this point in time, yeah, just, it just heal guys up. Heal up the Grid and Clean ones. Then uh, this will be another city force because we only need like nine cities. That, that's all we need. So basically, I feel like Epidemius is going to do like a little loop in Sylvania, and then he'll have him start turning her back around towards Tabaheim. Because it would be very fitting if he was the one that did that. Yeah, so I'll have a. Uh... Yeah, you guys can just deal with them. Uh, well, actually, let's do this. So here. Here, here, and then these guys. I think I can have you maybe be over here, just hiding in the trees, waiting for them. You guys go right there. Start the battle. Guard mode off. And then you just beeline up. Because these guys can just get some good healing up on here. We'll practically heal these guys back up to full, essentially. But yeah, you go on up there, fight those guys. You should probably be enough for this, I think. Yeah, just just you guys should be good for that, I think. If they want to try and attack me, they're free to do so. Epidemius here will just destroy the entire army himself, practically, here, as soon as they get in melee. Yeah, just blob up, guys. God, I can't wait to see what Scarbrand is like with the fucking Nemesis crown. He will be even more disgusting than this, honestly. There we go. So, now I was able to get a decent amount of healing on my dudes. Got a good amount of health back onto the grid and clean ones and everyone. 
So there we go. So now we'll have this territory under our control. Um, I want to double check on how many cities we need exactly. Because Epidemius has to keep fighting in a line of like, okay, I chain from this person to this person, this person, this person, this person. So if I want him to go back to Talmaheim, I have to be careful about how, what I do with the line of attacks for him. Because it might make it take way too long to get back to Talbaheim for him. So we'll have to be kind of careful on how we go about that. If not, we can probably try and have it so as soon as Discount Santa and uh, the bitches one are done over there. like they, There's like two cities I want them to hit for sure. I can have them start going west straight towards Talbaheim. Those two together should be fine. That's kind of what I'm thinking about. So let's see, because at the moment right now, I need four, oh, only four regions. Oh my god. I could get all the unique cities from just these guys. I could actually start turning back Epidemius like right now. Um... That was the case. No, I, I could have him go to Needly next turn. Krugenheim the turn after. Talbheim after that. I don't need a lot of unique cities, and I can just have it so the uh, like you two push through here. You hit uh this territory, this territory, and then you can just push it to uh these guys myself. And I can try and have it so that Karl Marx pushes down here, too. So he could actually try and help out around Sylvania, too. That that could work. So I think I think that will work for you guys. Let's see. You... Uh, get some more charge bonus there. Charge bonus. Let's see. Flag marked. Actually, give me some more melee defense would be bad. You can now start getting the summoning stuff. Kill the onslaught. And then you guys again are acting as agents here. There you go. So that's all of you guys. And then essentially it's like you're waiting four more turns until I can get another cult over here. These guys, the Nurgle Corruption is now maxed out. So I will actually want to switch. So this one we're keeping as it is. This one we're switching. So this one we're going to switch to a different one. Because now the areas in here have the uh, adjacent provinces thing. And if we can just keep a circle jerk of adjacent provinces corrupting the areas, that's perfect. So you guys can now freely move to the next territories I'll have you turn into cults. Just so like right here and right here. And then ideally this shouldn't go down when we demolish this. Because we're going to lose about yeah, 30 corruption from that so we should be okay though because that'll still be at uh 16 i'll still be at 16 for that so even with the other uh adjacent provinces uh, other provinces and corruption stuff we should be okay yeah see so you guys are coming in for needling here that's fine i think that's actually going to make it easier for me to want to make my path up towards um Talbaheim with uh epidemia so you guys can take the moot that's fine i feel like as to be ba to be back man because we just need to have it so, yeah, Epidemius gets over to Talbaheim. Because I think we can definitely leave it so my other guys will be the ones taking unique territories. So we'll go back over towards Talbaheim for ourselves. Just have to get back through my turn right now. Because let's see. So. Oh. Ah, we have a chance to ascend Karl Marx. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to actually keep him, uh, I'm going to keep him mortal. I'm going to keep you mortal. So I'll keep Karl Marx in mortal. Another trickster cult. I'll get rid of this. Get rid of that. Yeah, Neelan's right there, so that's perfect. So I can just push on up this way. I'll have it so yeah, you'll just beeline towards Dalbaheim with Epidemius. So I'll fight that in just a second. So I don't want to have you get near this army because you're still beat up. You're still recovering. I don't have the fully, fully replenished thing, do I? I do not. Okay. 
Well, for now, at least, I know for sure. I can have you guys make your way here. I don't think you had enough to sack and occupy it, so just occupy it. So there you go. You can grab that. Keep making your way over here. Should probably... Zazel's chilling there. You can get to hit us pretty much anytime. I can walk through here. I can turn back around a little bit for right now. Or just at least be near an ally's territory. Let's try and stand on this bridge. So we'll stand here. Stand right there. This uh, hero up here, Joseph Stalin, I forgot to move you. So you need to be making your way down. Trying to group up with us. So you are going to be given the order. Try and group up. Catch up with the Joseph Stalin. So you can do that. And then, yeah, I just need three more territories. So literally, if we just do one, two, three, yeah. It's just you guys will beeline through here, through towards uh, Kerak Kadron, hit these territories, and then I'll have say, Epidemius. We'll start pushing back now. So, hello! No! <laughs> There's no way in hell you could do this much damage. So let's push through these guys, and then we'll just continue making my way towards Talbaheim. By the time that Epidemius gets towards Talbaheim, uh, we should be done with this campaign pretty much. Alrighty, so what we're going to go with for this is, again, let's group you guys up here. Most of my units are actually kind of healed up a little bit more now, so we don't have to worry as much. But let's have it so we'll do this. Group you guys up, group you guys up. We're just going to want to start advancing in on them. Group in clean ones. Stroke to battle. Stroke to limit. I'll start moving up. Epidemius and everybody, you guys can just beeline towards the Lord. That's what you guys will go for. I'll have it so then my flyers... Let's see. You guys can you can just like kind of make your way forward. The grid and clean ones also just kind of push forward too. They do actually have some Hellstorm rocket batteries, which are kind of annoying. At least if you guys hit these guys. Try and run into the trees so they're going to miss more often. So you guys can try and do that. I can almost have my soul grinders open fire into them. So you'll want to open fire over here and here. I'll try and have you be the one that goes distracts their Hellstorm rocket batteries. Watch the long rifles. Actually, I'll probably want to have you distract those guys specifically. They actually got like a really good position in here. I'm kind of surprised, honestly. Like you guys are in a pretty good spot. We just have to start advancing on in. I need to be, just be careful of their sh uh, their gun units here. With my hero on the side here. Yeah, getting some good damage over here. Keep up when you fire with the soul grinders. Grid and clean ones are making their way forward. As soon as we get in melee, we win this fight. Because, let's see, you guys, you can try and hit the Outriders. Try and get in melee with the Outriders. Deal some damage to them. Try and debuff them a little bit to heal up the army. Yeah, here you guys come. Great and clean ones are marching forward. Let's see, you can almost hit these guys with this ability. Come on, just a little bit closer. There you go. So right there. You guys can go right there. You can go right there. These guys are on the other side. I got the land ships on this side. Epidemius is over here too. Yeah, you guys are just trying to yeah, go through the trees. Soul grinders. Uh, I might actually have you guys go hit this spot, although... Let's see. Maybe try and hit these guys. These guys. You're currently doing okay over here. Let's keep trying to deal some damage to them to get some healing up on the army. Yeah, Epidemius is almost in the melee over here. Kind of boost my guys a little bit and spawn some stuff. Get some boosts over here. Same with you. Uh, you are losing. Oh, you're fighting Demi Grip Knights. That's why. Get out of there. Thought you were still just fighting the Outriders. Yeah, no, no, no. Get, get out of there. We do not want you fighting Demi Grip Knights. Come on, man. I got some this. Try and get you some space. Uh, come on, man. Move out of there. Come on. There we go. That should be able to get you out of there. Oh my god, you were so stuck. There we go. Yeah, get, get away from the demigriffs. Let's heal you guys up there. Yeah, 
Get on out of there. Oh, they don't want to leave you the fuck alone. There you go. Come on. Get out of there. I do not want you fighting. There we go. He's back in the sky. Okay. There we go. Yeah, you guys keep making your way over here. These guys are actually taking some good damage from the Hellstorms. Okay, kind of run away a little bit there. Epidemius, you guys need to get mellow with things. Grid and clean ones are doing pretty decent. You guys need to keep making your way more into the center here. I definitely need to heal up you guys a little bit after this fight for sure. Hero needs to kind of back up. Let's have you kind of go group up with everybody over here on the side. Because they don't have much left. Most of these units are dead. Some of you are taking quite a bit of damage. You guys are taking a little bit here. All of you guys are moving up too. Oh shit. This grid and clean one's almost dead. Yeah, get a heal up on him. Because they're opening fire into that guy. So you guys try and go hit these hostile rifles as well. I think they're about to hit army losses. Yeah, Ulrika's like one of the few that's not going to break. She's unbreakable. Okay, I think that's it. So let's get all of my forces over here. Oh, no, now she... Yeah, now she's break breaking. I thought she was unbreakable. But no, let's now just group my guys up. Try and get you guys some healing. There we go. Because some of you guys took some pretty good amount of damage. So I want to try and group you guys up. Get some healing up on you guys. Let's see. Is Epidemius? Where's Epidemius? Okay, Epidemius is already here. He is the one we really want to make sure we get that heal on. There we go. So, let's get you guys some heals, and then we'll end the battle. Dun, dun, dun! <laughs> There we go. Okay, so now we will start slowly pushing back towards Dalbaheim. Decent amount of damage on this army, but we were able to recover quite a bit there. So now we just need to keep pushing forward. So it looks like uh, we might need three turns. I think, I think three turns, and we'll be able to be at Dalbaheim, and then that'll be the end of this campaign. I've had a lot of fun with Epidemius. I'm trying to think out of Epidemius and Tamarcon. I technically think I've had more fun with Epidemius because of the Nemesis Crown. If I didn't have the Nemesis Crown, I don't think this campaign would have been as fun. Tamarcon has, like, some really cool stuff that he can do. If I would have ever been able to get the Nemesis Crown in Tamarcon, though, oh my god, he would have been disgusting. Because the main issue with Epidemius, he is really slow. <laughs> He's a really slow lord. That makes it really hard for him to do a lot with the Nemesis Crown. That's why if I'm able to get the Nemesis Crown on Scarbrand, oh my god, the world is going to burn, and I'm going to love it. Uh, rank ups, let's see. So, you get some more leadership. Discount Santa. Get that. And that's all you guys can get. And yeah, you just have to wait three more turns until I can have you make another cult. And then this stuff over here now. So, we're not going with that one now. So instead, we're going to go with... Honestly, the plague duration increase is kind of insane. I kind of want to go for the plague duration increase. It'll literally increase by 100%. Um, otherwise... Cult Nurgle, Cult Magus at this location. I don't know what that is. Acolyte Trials. I, I, you know, I'm just going to build this because I'm curious. I don't know what the fuck it does, but I'm curious. Although, it might make it so that they're going to, like, they might destroy it then. No, I think... Call destroyed by completion. No, I don't want that. I think we're just going to go with the increased... Increased duration for plagues. Because that's just that's just amazing. 100% more uh, plague duration. Yes, please. Because right, here they come for the moot. That's fine. We'll just... Uh, you guys should be fine here. 
If you take that, that's okay. Because right now, our main goal is just to get back to Tabaheim. So we're going to lose a couple territories here. God, there's a lot of you guys here. Can you fucking not? That's okay, though. Because we'll have it. So we're going to get to Tabaheim. We'll be able to get a little bit closer this turn. Um, Let's see. Recruitment cost. Uh, Force Clay Plague Grid. Let's just put you there. So you can go there. And the next turn, these guys will finish this stuff up, which means I already have a plague here. But we'll want to get another one up at some point. Yeah, a lot of areas. Damage there, that's okay. Yeah, because let's see. So now, Epidemius. This would break my God, they have so many agents trying to do shit to me. Um, I get Krugenheim. Let's so hit Krugenheim here. And I'm pretty sure we've already hit this area before. So I'll occupy this. And then next turn, I should be able to get the Tabaheim, and we just have to hold it for a, dur a tur duration. I'm trying to think of what we have and have not controlled over here. I know you guys, at least right now. Let's see. So, yeah, let's keep going to the west here. Because I want to have it so that we'll try and go for Karakadrin and Sylvanian territory. That's the primary stuff that we'll focus on going for with you guys. And then this army... Ignored right now. Yeah, that army moved away. I'll keep bringing my. I'll just keep trying to bring you down this way too, so that way I can actually have you try and help out down here and hit this stuff as well. Because we only need a couple more territories. We oh we need just one. We need one unique territory, and that's it. Yeah. So Dalbaheim will get to turn next turn or turn after. One of those two. And then we'll be in position. Um, let's have you give our weapon damage. I'll have you grab weapon attack. You need to be in the stuff for summoning there. And then you're acting as an agent. So that's good for all of you guys. And then at the moment right now, at least building wise, there's not a lot for us to build because there's only a couple areas that are actually safe. I know Volksgrad is one of them. Get that. Get some more growth around here. Northern Sylvania, if Sylvania's not happy, or is safe, uh, Ostermark's not safe. Southern Oblast isn't safe because of the what they just hit with. Right land. Troll Country is safe up here. So yeah, that's safe up there. But no, we can just now end the turn. As honestly, uh, this, this video will end a little bit earlier than normal, I think. Given the fact that we literally need one more unique settlement. And I think I can hit Karak Kadrin next turn. And then that'll be it. That'll be the last unique settlement we need. We'll get the long bridge conditions for this campaign finished up. And then we'll be done with this campaign. Then we get to see if I can just blitz and finish up a, like, this is total war campaign as Scarbrand. Um, before we finally get information on, like, when the next DLC is properly coming out. Because honestly... Like, I, I did, I've done at least one campaign properly as Scarbrand. I was kind of hoping that maybe the next time I did a Scarbrand campaign would be after the next, like, corn DLC. But we're not going to have that. Not yet, at least. But there's still, like, there's still been some updates since I played that one. Because that was when it first released. And even that campaign, I demolished stuff. Because, let's see. So, at the moment right now, can I hit Tabaheim? I am one turn away. You know, let's do this. Let's uh, let's just hit work bad. I'm just gonna hit work bad. Uh, raise it. That's the wrong way, man. I wanted you to go the other way. I was hoping to have you like push back so you'd be closer to Tabaheim. That's fine. You weren't gonna be able to hit it this turn anyway, so we'll have you start turning around. Go for it next turn. I can have you, yeah, Waldenhof, we hit this. We hit any city today, this turn. And then we're going to have it so that now we will be able to... Just need, we just need to control Talbaheim. Once we control Talbaheim, we win the campaign. Because I know, like, you guys are coming over here too. Yeah, you actually can't, well, if you were out of uh, encampment stance, you probably could, but... I will just have you guys walk up normally for right now. That's fine. That's not an issue. We just need to get Epidemius up here. Just need to get Epidemius to Talbaheim. We'll do that fight ourselves, kind of finish things up. 
And then I'm I'm excited to start that Scarbrand campaign. Because I've had a lot of kill on this campaign. I'm gonna make sure that we save for this one. Um, I'm definitely saving I'm saving Mortarian. I'm saving Mortarian, I'm saving the bitchless one. I'm gonna save discount Santa. I know actually I'm gonna save all of these guys. I actually wanna save all of the ones that were in Karl Marx's army. Those guys I all wanna save. Although I do feel weird that like the uh, ascended stuff, it seems like those ones you can't actually take in other campaigns, which is kind of sad. Because I, I want to be able to have like my ascended demons from previous campaigns. Like that's cool, but sadly no. But yeah, no. We we just need literally I think one or two more turns, and then this campaign is gonna be finished up. Which. I am curious, like, what some of your guys is. Oh my god, Jeff is solved. Please stop puking all over the fucking place, man. I am kind of curious, like, what some people's, uh, like, favorite s aspects of this campaign were. For, for me, it's obviously the Nemesis Crown. It's hard to not beat how fun it was to get the Nemesis Crown so early on and then just have Epidemius be a fucking disgusting beast on the battlefield. Because literally, he's been able to just absolutely shred armies absolutely with his current setup that's been a lot of fun it, it, this campaign was very similar oh no Leon and three uh, two armies whatever shall I do yep yep let's do this you're not winning against me Leon Kerr Oh, it's a fucking bridge battle, too! Oh, God. That's mean. That's so mean. <laughs> they do have their skirmishers, which would be annoying, but, like... This is mean. This is a straight-up bridge battle. They have to have they have to cross over into here to get to me. And Epidemius has the Nemesis Crown. I'll probably have it so that we'll use my uh, my soul grinders. They will focus down skirmishers. Infantry, we're just going to get them set up. I'm going to hope they get set up primarily around this side. So, like, have you grouped up? I think I might have you guys over here basically try and defend this side. Like, I'll have, like, all my single entities kind of over here, basically. Yeah, we could do this, basically. Actually, we kind of want to... No, we do want to turn it off. Oh, actually, I want to switch who's where. Yeah, I want you guys here. You guys here. You, know, you guys definitely focus fire on any skirmishers. All of you, all of you guys stay where you are, but yeah, let's, let's just switch these guys, because it looks like yeah, they've got laying curve primarily on this side. Should be okay. But yeah, just try and keep doing damage to those skirmishers. That's the biggest problem we have is, yeah, these mounted yeomen could be a bit of a problem. Does look like they're making their way over around here. Yeah, they're bringing a lot of them over this way. You guys can back up. Yeah, at least they don't have insane archers. Like, they've got some, but nothing too crazy. Yeah, they're not really fully advancing in just yet. But, you know, I've got, like, you guys trying to go over here. Soul grinders behind. Uh, you... Nope, pull back, guys. You guys actually do need to have guard mode on. You do need to have guard mode on. All of this guy. You can at least kind of... Oh, uh... At, okay. It still heals us, but that was a complete miscast. Yeah, because here they are. You two can probably just get on into melee with those guys, possibly. No? Not, not, not gonna advance on me? Okay. Pull back. They're waiting for the reinforcements, but I think most of them will make their way over here, which that's fine by me, because yeah, those are the ones that are on the map first. These guys have the soul grinders on this side, at least, to kind of help them out a little bit. I just need you guys to advance on me, because honestly, like, you guys kind of do a little bit of damage with your ranged damage, but it's nothing too crazy. Come on, guys, advance on into me. You're the aggressors here. Come on, walk across the bridge. Just get into melee with Epidemius. Which side are you going to pick? I'm going to hate if they pick this side after I moved Epidemius. There you go. Okay, they're finally picking a target. It does seem like most of them are over here. Okay, so you guys, again, we'll have to... I'm going to have you guys actually kind of cease fire for a second. 
Try and have it so that you guys are trained fire will off. I want to specifically target archers. So I want to have you hit some of the ones that are over here as soon as they get in range. Okay, you guys over here. Yep, focus on the Lord there. Keep trying to boost us up around here. Yeah, bring them all over here. They have a couple guys making their way over here. Not a ton. Um, Trebuchet. Yeah, I want to get rid of that fe blessed field trebuchet. They've got a good chunk of their army that still hasn't been able to get on the map just yet. It's not going to matter too much because I know as soon as you guys start like pushing through here. Like start kind of pushing on in. Yeah, you're taking a little bit of damage. Yeah, you guys can start firing into this spot. There's actually a lot in this area. So open fire into here. You're going to try and go for this to get rid of the artillery piece. Do they have any other artillery pieces? Yeah, they've got three over here, one more over here. Oh, Lankur is actually doing some good damage. Some spawns over there. Yeah, Lankur is now taking some good damage. There we go. Yeah, as you guys focus on them. Also, I can just spam the other lean shit out of this on you guys here. Oh, a lot of AoE damage with all the great unclean ones. Where the, what the hell are you doing? What are you doing, my guy? You got one, too. There you go. Okay, let's put this on Epidemius. He's actually taking a little bit of damage around here. Do your debuff thing and AoE. There you go, guys. Okay, you guys are out of ammo. Uh, you can still get some good shots in here, though. Okay, yeah, you're supposed to be... Oh, yeah, dude, start fighting these guys a little bit. Yeah, the trebuchets are, like, the only thing that's gonna matter. But, like, a good sizable chunk of the enemy army has already died, which is amazing. Okay, let's have you just get rid of these guys first. Go for the Blessed Field trebuchet. Yeah, this section's all taking a good amount of damage. I can actually have you guys... Uh, yeah, stay where you are. Because you guys are actually in a really good spot to just keep unloading into them with range damage here. Absolutely just destroy this force. I just need you to get, yeah, get rid of this thing. Try and destroy it if you can. Yeah, because you guys, I'm just going to have you start pushing across the bridge now. We've done an insane amount of damage so far. So let's just keep pr the pressure up on them over here. Yeah, you guys did a good amount of damage over here. Now they're just staggering in. At this point in time, they really don't have a really good way to kind of deal with us, so we'll just keep pushing forward. Yeah, Epidemius just basically kind of keep, like, pushing up this way. Same with the Great Unclean Ones. Keep pushing towards the Field Trebuchet. I'm trying to get some heals up here. We got a little bit more over on this side. But I think I can try and have you guys start trying to push up this way, too. Heal up on Epidemius there. Some of you are taking some damage, but it's not that bad. Um, let's see. Go for the other field trebuchet. Right there. There you go. Let's see. Most of their forces left are primarily over here. Which I expect you guys to be able to kind of win this fight. So keep trying to push on in through there. I would like to get... Yeah, so you guys start trying to make your river here. Because most of them are dead. There's like nothing on this reinforcing side. Now it's just these guys. Specifically. Uh, Soul Grinders, you're a bit faster, so I can maybe try and have you guys try and run around and get over there. Yeah, because I'll get my heroes over here. I think you're good. You can actually start trying to help out on this side. Yeah, you guys need to keep trying to push on in. I need some heals on my Great Unclean ones a little bit there. Yeah, I can get some explosions back here. I think they're about to hit army losses. Yep, there they are. I will take the time, though, to... Let's make sure that uh, these guys group up over here. Oh, stop doing that. Because I'll try and get you guys some heals up here. Same with you. So we'll get all of you guys some healing up here. Um, I can try and have you guys... Yeah, you don't, you're don't. you not going to really heal many entities anyways. Try and just keep chasing them. You're not going to catch them. You're too slow. But we can try. And then, like, this guy here. Yeah, just get at least all my single entities to heal up. So we'll spam that up, and then we'll be done. There we go. So now we were able to heal those guys up fully. 
Now we'll be able to have it so that what we can do... God damn, Epidemius. I love how many kills you give up, man. Uh, now we'll be able to have it so that uh, we'll keep making my way up towards Dalheim. Hopefully these armies are actually, like, the remnants of them are still alive. Because then I can use them as uh, little stump jumping stones, uh, stepping stones, to get to Talbaheim. Because if that's the case, we can easily take it this turn. It just depends on where you guys are, where you guys pull back to. Because if I can get to Talbaheim this turn, that's perfect. Otherwise, we'll just need one more turn as I keep making my way up towards it. But no, I, I have had a, I've had a lot of fun with this campaign. I love how broken Epidemius feels. Like, I, I'm happy about the fact, like, I know with the Scarbrand campaign, I'm going to be turning on endgame scenarios, because he, if this is if it's a this is a total war, he's gonna we're going to need it to make it so the forces of corn actually feel threatened. Um, because, goddamn, I want to see, like, what it, it will take to destroy Scarbrand. If this is what it takes, like, Epidemius even destroys things with just the Nemesis ground. Um, let's grab the replenishment. Yeah, so they had like three armies. I might be able to use those to kind of jump up towards Talbine. It just depends on where they're set up. Because let's see. So, right now, new regional power. Okay, wounded. That was one of the agents. So, back around here. I almost have enough to hit that. So, if I go here. Just taking you guys out pretty easily. Take the replenishment. Does that give me enough of my movement back because of the Nemesis Crown? It does not. So I cannot hit Talbaheim until next turn. Okay. Thought I'd might at least try. So we'll have to wait until next turn to properly take Talbaheim. We are at least now at this point in time. Let me just double check this. Yep. We just need Tabheim. So I can try and have it so like yeah, you guys can now push on in here, take care of Kadrin. Continue that siege, and then bring on in Discount Santa. So bring him on in. You guys can now easily take this. Do you lose anything? You lose a single Nurgling. Oh no. That's fine. There we go. For that and then I'll probably just merge these guys together so it's easier to get actually I should almost maybe replace some of these guys um this army I don't have any of the red line for you really built up at all so it doesn't really matter uh... <laughs> you just get 17 of these Technically, they're stronger than Nurglings. They read to fuck it. Let's just get a shit ton of beasts of Nurgle. Why not? We'll just do that. Okay. Research-wise, I'm sad I only found out the increased research rate thing uh, later on, because now I can finally get the uh, finally get the military stuff. Because now our research rate's actually decent. But I think for the most part, essentially, um, you can easily take this spot. So take that. Just occupy it. And then we'll just do our end turn. There's some rank ups here we can grab at least. So you should keep upgrading this stuff here. Spread control. Leadership, leadership. You can finally get best on decay, finally. Uh, actually, you should get more melee attack. Melee attack there. You can get more leadership. Karl Marx almost actually made it to level 20 before we were done with this campaign. More healing there, or more health there, I mean. You're gonna as one of the agents, and then you're also acting as an agent as well. There. So that's all you guys. Now we do one more end turn, and then we'll take Talbheim. And this campaign will be done. Yeah, I'm, I'm definitely saving Joseph Stalin, I'm saving Karl Marx. Everybody in his army I actually really like. I want to keep them for future Nurgle campaigns if they ever add more Nurgle characters. Or, I, I, I still haven't done a Kugath campaign. I need to do a Kugath campaign at some point, but that, that'll be a while. I, I could see a Kugath campaign later on. Sp specifically in, like, the Old World map mod. Because I know I want to do campaigns in that for sure. So I could see doing a Kugath campaign in there, which would be pretty interesting. 
trying to remember where he spawns in the old world map mod. Gonna fall, that's fine. Just get me back to my turn game. That's all that really matters. Sylvania's not gonna do anything. I am at least happy because I, I wish I would have had the cult stuff at the very beginning of this campaign. Because I know that was an addition that was made and change that was made later. Um, because I would have made this campaign a lot more interesting because of the whole fact that we focused on... Fall into seduction. Um, since we were focusing so much on our uh, plagues and everything. So now, um, let's see. Oh, also, I forgot. Yeah, you could have set up a cult here. There you go. Yeah, because knowing that, and then like they just give like really good bonus. I'm curious what the uh, corn ones give. Corn cults were already pretty interesting, so seeing them being upgraded will be interesting. Now for this, since we had the battle with Leonker, I'm actually pretty okay just auto-resolving this. Because now we'll take this. And that will be the end of this campaign. Once it clicks through. Yeah, long victory. She achieved. It doesn't immediately go into the record stuff now, but... I, I will go to the map myself, because, uh, so statistics, I'll first go over that. So it took us 117 turns to get to the long victory conditions. I wonder if it keeps track of how many plagues we made. I'm actually kind of curious if it is, does, specifically for, uh, Nurgle. Units destroyed, units recruited, battles fought, battles fought personally, auto-resolved. Victories, defeats, aftermaths. It does not specifically specify, or maybe I missed it, plagues created, which is kind of sad. I think that's something that I should be keeping track of as Nurgle. Cult's established, just keep track of that. I do not, nothing about plagues, though. Which is sad. But yeah, no, we can now just, we can go through this. I always, I always like seeing this little records mode, showcasing where you expanded, what you did, I personally really like it because it's a, it's a good way to kind of remind myself what happened in the campaign. I know early on that first episode, uh, having to deal with the forces of uh, Malice Darkblade, oh, that was concerning. Oh, that was so concerning. But no, at, 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 like essentially it was basically like, hey, as soon as we got secured up north, like I probably could have had it so I secured more of my territory up there instead of going and beelining towards the Empire so quickly. But Nemesis Crown. If I didn't do that, I would have never gotten the Nemesis Crown, and we would have never been able to just beeline and absolutely destroy everybody in our path with Epidemius. So, I I personally really loved going down that way. I loved going down there so early, grabbing the Nemesis Crown and just wreaking destruction, because when are we going to see? So, you got a you got a sense. Because we got the bitchless one now at this point in time. This is turn 20. Here becomes legend. I'm just curious. So, this is when we're still fighting up here. I know I left the bitchless one up here to kind of deal with them a little bit. I'm trying to remember, when did I send Epidemius down this way? It was close to me. It wasn't after uh, after I fully secured this area. I sent him down pretty early. Let's see, some trying to see. So, send him some... War declared, war blockers. Yep, stuff is being besieged over here. Now we know about you guys. I think this is, I think it was around now is when I found out about it. And we had to make my way down south. Because we see it as soon as I make like one tiny little city down around here is when I finally got down here, grabbed the Nemesis Crown. As I grabbed it from uh, Carl Franz. Carl Franz is the one that had it and I got it around here. Because when was that? Not at war with Nordland yet. Rank gained. Still nothing down south for me down here. Because, like, nothing really happened up here all that much. Besides, like, me pushing into Boris a little bit. Oh, Epidemius is trespassing. So he was trespassing, so it was pretty close to around now at this point, roughly. Because I'll know as soon as I see... Yeah, trespassing with Epidemius. Yep, more trespassing. It's... Yep, there's the... There's the Reichland. So it's like right around... Yep, I, after I discovered Hochland. Trespassing, trespassing, trespassing. Still trespassing with Epidemius. Army infected. 
And then this is where all the wars are declared. So I... Yep, Nemesis Crown changes heads. Yep, now we finally have it. And then now you can just kind of... I'll, I'll speed through this a little bit more now. But now that we see... So it took me like a turn 53, roughly. And you just see me start conquering just all over the place. I did lose the territory. You can just see... The growth of our territory, you can see the path that Epidemius takes, yeah, because now he's in back in Kislev. You can just see the path he takes, slowly but surely. Yeah, you can just continuously see that line of destruction he does. I love how he just continuously wandered around the Empire continuously. Yep, and then he just makes his way back around towards Dalheim. I love that. I love you just clearly see a path that I kept making with Epidemius. Okay. Now the only thing is, uh, I gotta save characters. So Mortarian, I'm saving. I'm saving Mortarian. I'm gonna save you. I don't think out of these two, there's nothing, anything specifically special about me wanting to save them. I will save Karl Marx. Karl Marx, I'm gonna save. I'm gonna save the Swamp Gang leader. I'm gonna save the Chernobyl man. I'm gonna save uh, Discount Santa. And then, neither of those guys I really want to save. I'm going to save the bitchless one. None of these guys I renamed. And then I will also for sure uh, save Joseph Stalin. So we'll, we'll save those characters. Those are all the ones I'm going to save. But at this point in time, we have now completed the long victory conditions. And I will say that we are now done with this campaign. This is already completed an Urgle campaign. It doesn't give me the achievement, but at this point in time, I am hope you guys enjoyed this campaign. If you guys did, let me know down in the comments down below. I love hearing you guys have to say about this campaign and your thoughts in general. But this is Rampaign. I'll see you guys next time. But at this point in time, we have now completed the...